Good morning readers. I, Harish Budhu, warmly welcome you to my channel. Learn as much as possible from my handwritten articles, this 9th of December 2020 opinion paper. Anti-corruption day to day. Birds of a feather flock together. The leader of the opposition should have sued the Prime Minister for a token sum of 50 cents and not 50 million rupees and have the case heard quickly. Amin Agarib Fakim had utilized Alvaro, Das, them, institutions. Where is the report Mr. C.J. A. Welcome to this 9th of December 2020 opinion paper. We will discuss two topical issues today. Utilize our findings or views but as a catalyst or stepping stone. To reach your own decisions. Bon lecture. Best wishes. B. True. Our main mission of what remains of this short life is to help people. We owe a debt of gratitude to all those who save others. Have you ever experienced the joy and pride of lending a helping hand to a needy person? Thanks a lot to all those who help us in our mission. See, Students Corner. 1. We had highlighted 20 English phrases and quoted 11 British Broadcasting Corporation and Longman ones yesterday. Two. Consider but 18 English expressions of this early morning British Broadcasting Corporation news reports and please note, we have consulted Longman Dictionary to complete some of them. The government continue to grapple to keep the coronavirus under control. It is the worst racial inequalities throughout the country. Fierce arguments have been simmering for decades. To finance the shift towards greener energy. America is undergoing a terrible second wave of the virus. Global financial crash. The match was abandoned amid accusations of racial remarks. His mental health was crumbling. He exhausted himself to breaking point. His sympathetic and strength of character has inspired many. Battle for survival. It was the story of a human against the mountains. The climate crisis is unfolding before our very eyes. The poor will be left behind again. Prisoners were left to die in squalid military camps, to ensure global access to the vaccine. This is a global crisis. Poor people will be left behind. DNA profiling helped to arrest the serial killer. Broke down emotionally. D. Corruption now institutionalized, systemic and a way of life in the government house. United Nations has declared 9th December as the day to fight corruption. Consider but a few points picked at random, though they do not bear any order of chronology or priority. 1. History bears witness. As a politician and journalist, I have excelled in the fight against corruption. Without any chest thumping and without being arrogant, I can safely say that no politician, dead or alive, can equal my daring exploits, since 1977. I have won the scalps of many corrupt politicians. I have been at the origins of many inquiries. I have been the star witness mere time. I could have done hundred times better, had some corrupt politicians and their mercenary journalists not put spokes in my wheel. Anne Rude Jugnaut expelled me from the government in 1986, just to create SunTrust and SunTrust mentality. He was even talking to magistrates to convict me. And he had bought over some of my lawyers. I defended myself in the courts and won many cases. But Navin Ram Gulam was no better. He closed down Sunday Vani. He made more money than the Sun Trust. The Nandani saw Ornak vast financial empire was by the tip of the iceberg. 2. Let us summarize. Unfortunately, a few of our Facebook readers do not know my rich past, as far as the fight against corruption is concerned. No surprise they at times, make negative comments. It is a pity. All told, I have lots of weaknesses, as a human being. But the war against corruption has been my forte. History says so. 3. Small wonder, the Praven Jugnaut government is the most rotten corrupt one I have known. Fraud is a virus. It is in the air. We breathe to feed our lungs. It is a way of life. It is a disease gangrening every sector of the economy and the society. You mark my words. They will bleed the country dry. And they have looted so much that Mauritius is on bended knees. 
but the law of karma will soon catch the Prime Minister and his gang. Very soon. 4. Now take only four blatant cases. The Amin Agarib Fakim report is still not published, after some two years eight months. Ask the Chief Justice. The State Bank 2.4 billion rupees Britam fraud is not yet resolved, after some three and a half years. Ask former Judge Dima. How many people have been good around Ivanka Lendavlu? And the leader of the opposition should have sued the Prime Minister for 50 cents in the lower court and not for 50 million rupees. Birds of a feather. To be continued. Keep reading, keep learning. Like and subscribe for more thrilling articles. Thank you for watching.